Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, as you can see, I've been having a bit of fun with this guitar. This is a Dan Electro 59M NOS Plus. Trips off the tongue, doesn't it? Um, this guitar belongs to a student of mine who has a ridiculous amount of guitars, to be honest with you. And this one is no longer um, getting played. It's surplus to requirements and he's selling it and he asked me if I'd like to do a video on it before it gets sold and since I haven't covered any Dan Electros I thought I might as well so here it is. Um, you've already heard a little bit how it sounds, uh, we'll hear some more sounds from it in a second but um, let's have a look and see what it's made from. Okay let's start with the body. Uh, Dan Electro guitars have a body which is made from a pine framework or exoskeleton which is then covered with masonite. That's hardboard to us in the UK. I'm assuming the neck is maple because that would be an entirely conventional material to make a neck on a guitar like this from. But once again, specs on the Dan Electro website are a bit scarce and difficult to find. Whatever it is, it has a very comfortable C profile and uh, the fretboard is, well, it looks like rosewood, but I'm assuming it's not. It will probably be Pau Ferro or something like that. It has... Um, quite a flat feeling 14 inch radius and 21 medium jumbo frets the scale length on this guitar is 25 inches so it's that sort of halfway house between uh, fender and gibson scale lengths up at the top end we have an aluminium or if you're in the states aluminium nut measuring 1.65 inches and we get the famous dan electro coke bottle shaped headstock which sports Clusen-esque looking tuners. Down at the other end we have a badass style wrap over bridge which is a vast improvement on the uh, original non-adjustable Dan Electro bridge. Uh, you get two NOS Plus lipstick tube pickups which uh, apparently give more twang than any previous incarnation of this pickup. They certainly sound good to my ears anyway. These are controlled via a three-way selector and you get two dual concentric volume and tone knobs. The outer knob is the volume for each pickup and the inner knob is the tone for each pickup. And that's what's going on with the Dan Electro 59M NOS. So there you go. Um, it is typically unconventionally conventional in Dan Electro kind of fashion. Um, so what's it like? Well, um, it's actually pretty good. It's it's a fun guitar to play. I had a, an immense amount of fun earlier on this morning uh, just doing that little slide jam thing there. It plays really nice and um, it's got some cool sounds going for it. Uh, here's the bridge pickup, just with a clean sound, and you can hear it's kind of got a little bit of a, a telecaster -y kind of vibe going on. Middle setting, again, on a clean sound, it really does bring out that um, telecaster -y kind of country kind of thing. You find yourself doing all of these kind of licks. You know, that kind of thing. Very, very kind of twangy, um, typical single coil kind of sound. It's It's got, the, the hollowness of the body does give it um, kind of a nice resonant feel. Uh, neck pickup, again, lipstick uh, pickup in sort of, actually it's not really a neck pickup position when you look, it's, it's quite a way back, but it does have that kind of neck pickup, funky, single coil kind of vibe to it. Like that um, but where this guitar really comes alive is when you're on the kind of borderland between clean and dirty that's where it uh, it's got a kind of a snarl and a bark to it that I quite like <laughs> You 
you know, real kind of old school, vintage kind of rock and roll. You could play a lot of rockabilly kind of stuff on this. That sort of stuff. And that, that's the bridge pickup there. Uh, neck pickup, uh, sorry, middle, middle setting, you know, great for doing your cheesy kind of blues licks. That was the setting I think I was using when I was playing that uh, slide thing earlier. Um, neck pickup, again, it's you can get really quite sort of Hendrixy on this, you know. All that kind of stuff, it just sort of fairly trips out. It is a very, very easy guitar to play. Um, well, I think it is anyway, because I like the neck profile and that very flat feeling fretboard. I know it's not to everybody's taste, but it, it suits me. It certainly makes for a quite a smooth, buttery um, feeling playing experience. The sound I would kind of describe as being, you know, somewhere probably between a, a Gretsch and a Telecaster. It's got that kind of old school rock country rockabilly blues kind of vibe to it and you know you turn up to a gig with one of these and get get it out of its case you're gonna kind of get some attention it's not the uh, run-of-the-mill guitar for uh, a lot of people and it, it kind of plays really nice and it uh, for, for what it's supposed to do it sounds really good i think um i've certainly had a lot of fun playing it and um well as I said, it's for sale. So if you'd uh, like to be um, the owner of this guitar, get in touch with me. You can see the email address there on screen. I think the guy's looking for offers around £300. Um, so, you know, he is open to offers. So if you're interested, uh, give me a shout and I'll put you in touch with the guy who's uh, selling it and uh, maybe you can come to an agreement. And with that, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Give me a like while you're at it. And uh, I'll just say thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time around. Bye for now, folks. And don't forget before you go to check out my Udemy courses, which you can see are available via my website, which is also where you can contact me to get in touch for some one-to-one -one tuition, either via Skype or in person if you live local to me. I also have merchandise available on my Teespring store, and of course all of the links are in the description. See you next time, chaps.